Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Traffic along Blue Angel Parkway in Pensacola moves at a snail's pace twice a week. That's due to the influx of people coming to watch the U.S. Navy Blue Angels in action. Now, the Blues hold their public practices on NAS Pensacola twice a week. Neighbors telling WEAR News the increase in traffic is causing some safety issues. WEAR's Karis Harmon spoke with those residents. Yeah, guys, I did, and they said not only is it a safety issue, but it's nearly impossible to get in and out of their neighborhoods. It's a sight to see. The Blue Angels in action. Thousands come to NAS Pensacola just to get a glimpse. Oh, we call that the sound of freedom. We love the blues. The Blue Angels are back in Pensacola, and that means public practices are held every Tuesday and Wednesday from 1030 until 1130 in the morning. Residents who live near the base along Blue Angel Parkway say while they love the blues, it's hard to ignore the traffic the spectacle brings. Oh, we can't get home. Uh, the street's completely blocked. If you're coming from Blue Angel or Gulf Beach Highway, it's blocked for a half mile or more. And um, the only way we can get to our houses if we have to drop our kids off at school or something to that effect is to drive illegally. We have to drive on the shoulder next to the road. Because our cameras captured several vehicles creating their own lane in the grass along the shoulder of Blue Angel Parkway. Because we see people who are skirting in and out of traffic and not driving in lanes that they should be driving in and that kind of thing. So it is it is a safety hazard. Several people who live in subdivisions near the base spoke with us anonymously, voicing their concerns. Now on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, it's very hard to get out of the neighborhood or get in. It, it does cause mm -hmm. uh, an issue for us to get to appointments, go to the grocery store, drop kids off for school, um, really just anything that affects from probably what, about eight o'clock till yeah. maybe mm -hmm. one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Not only that, the women say they are concerned about how the traffic could impact emergencies. Worried about emergency vehicles getting into the neighborhoods. I mean, it's just backed up. You can't. I mean. The women say since last year, they've covered all of their bases, asking for help. They've called county commissioners, spoke at city council meetings, called the base, and even went as far as contacting Governor DeSantis and the Pentagon. But... It just fizzled. It, it just fell on deaf ears. I just want them to know that I'm doing, as their commissioner, what I can as quickly as possible to come up with some solution. Scambia County Commissioner Mike Kohler spoke with me over the phone. He says he's received several complaints from residents in the area about the traffic. We're going to have a meeting on Monday the 8th with people from FDOT, uh, Congressman Gates' office as aides. Um, our county staff, the sheriff, and look at all options to see how we can improve the traffic pattern. The residents say one option could be to have local or military law enforcement near the base directing traffic. That's an option, and the sheriff knows that, but, you know, that's why we need to get everyone in the room because, you know, like the sheriff and our traffic engineer seems to think the bottleneck's at the gate. Residents say the traffic backs up because the west gate is the only gate open to civilians who want to see the blues. The Navy has put up billboards and signage to divert people from the other gate, the main gate, to this gate. So nobody can go in that other gate, which to me would be one of the major solutions. Again, Commissioner Kohler has organized a meeting with key players in this to discuss options to help the people living in that area. Monday's meeting at the base is not open to the public and we'll be sure to keep you posted on what is discussed. In the studio, Karis Harmon, WEAR News.